Hey how's it going bros? So in this video, I will be comparing the Geekbench score of the Moto G4 Plus with that of the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016, both of which has been updated to Android 8.1.0 Oreo. Because why not? Both the phones falls in the mid-range category of smartphones and were launched at almost the same time frame and were competing against each other. Also, both the phones were updated from Android Nougat to Android Oreo even though the J7 2016 got its update way back in November 2018. So before starting the test, let's see the specs on both the smartphones. So the Moto G4 Plus is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 octa-core processor along with the Adreno 405 GPU. And the variant that I have is the 3GB RAM 32GB ROM variant. On the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 is powered by the Exynos 7870 octa-core processor and it has the Mali T830 MP1 GPU. But it has a slightly lower 2GB RAM and 16GB onboard storage. So this is the variant of J7 2016 that I'll be using for the test. But one thing to be noted is that in some regions the J7 2016 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 octa-core processor and the Adreno 405 GPU which is the exact same CPU and GPU as that of the Moto G4 Plus. So having said all this, let's now get along with the test. So in one of my previous videos, I performed the Geekbench benchmarking test on my Moto G4 Plus that has been updated to the latest Android 8.1.0 Oreo. And the scores were something like this. It scored 714 in single core and 2894 in multi core. Which is not that bad, but it's not that good of a score either. So now coming to the J7 2016, after completing the test, it has scored a single core score of 729 and a multi core score of 3274. So the single core score is slightly more than that of the Moto G4 Plus. But when you come to the multi core score, the J7 2016 scored much higher than that of Moto G4 Plus. So the J7 2016 is the clear winner here, managing to score higher in both single core and multi core. So the J7 2016 should be much snappier in day to day use and it should also handle multitasking more effortlessly. And also in terms of gaming, it should be the same as well. And from my experience, I can say that that is actually the case. So we can say that the J7 2016 has aged much better than if we compared with the Moto G4 Plus. So that was a quick little video comparing the Geekbench scores of the Moto G4 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on this video if you guys liked it. Subscribe if you are new here. And I will see you guys in the next video.